Hi everyone, so I am the Scottish Crafter and welcome to my channel. I am here today to show you a kit that I have for sale. I've put this kit together. It is um, a kit of bits and pieces that you can use basically to make a vintage junk journal. So what do you get in the kit? First of all, this kit is £10 um, to buy and that includes your postage and it is UK only. Um, it's also PayPal only. So, here we go. This is what you get. First of all, I've tied everything up with this black eyelash trim. So you get this as well. I'm not sure how much is here, but I would say it's over a metre anyway. Because I know that I've bought metres of, uh, meters of ribbon from eBay and it's not as large as this. So it's over a metre. So you get that black eyelash trim and it has... The sparkle, I don't know if it's shown up, but it's got the sparkle bits through it. So you get that. Let me just see. I'm trying to fix this light a wee bit. The shadows are really bad because, like I said before, it's so gloomy outside. But I think you can see okay. Then you get this bag. Um, this beautiful little brown paper bag with all the vintage imagery on it. So you get that. You also get another one of the bags. And inside this bag... There are three different trims. So obviously you take the trim out and you have this bag that you can use in your junk journal as well. The first trim you get, now again there is a lot of this. This one must be, oh my gosh, I don't know, about two metres I would say. Maybe more than that. Let me bunch it up so I can show you. So, this one, if it focuses... Is this gorgeous it's got burgundies and creams and it's really tactile so you get a good length of that you then get um, the eyelash trim again there's a lot of that that's the sorry burgundy one and it's got the sparkle in it you then get this cream one this doesn't have any sparkle in it again there's a lot of that there's over a meter there then the next thing that you get is two of these little fold outs to put in your junk journals now, all the made pieces here, I have made them myself. I made them yesterday. I used the Distress Oxides. I have also Mod Podged on some napkins. And I've used the transfer sheets from Tonic, the Paris transfer sheets, to transfer on some beautiful images. So you get that one. You also get this one. These have been Mod Podged on as well. You can see it's got all the distress inks, distress oxides on them, and I've used the spray stains as well. So you get two of those for in your journal. Then you get this little vintage envelope. Now this was just a normal little brown envelope. I have used dictionary paper on the inside. I used the Nouveau Mousse to stencil through. I've used the inks. This is a transfer. It's got this gorgeous... Um, potato sack fabric on it and some ribbon and doilies absolutely beautiful I love how it's turned out so you get that one then you get this journaling card again it's been all ink it's been stamps now all the stamps that I've used throughout this kit are the graphic 45 stamps so I have used um, lots of different ones of these to do my stamp in again this is all distress oxides and it's got the Paris transfers on it. A beautiful flower. I think it was Jared that sent me these ones. Um, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I know one of my lovely ladies sent me these. Then I've got the doily stamping, beautiful ribbons and trims. So you get that one. You get this one, which is roughly the same, but it's just a different butterfly. And then it has one of the Love More graphic 40 stamp, 45 stamps on it that one you then get these three envelopes now i made these myself yesterday and i'm in love with them they are mixed media envelopes and they're absolutely perfect for putting in a junk journal you see they've got stamping they've got spray and they've got doilies they've got crochet lace these are made from um i can never manuscript paper i never remember the name of that paper and then you see you've got the big transfer across the front. Now they've all been mod-podged to look like 
really thick, um, like thick magazine paper. You can see it's all sprayed. So this is a really good size actually. If I get my ruler, of course I don't know where it is, but two seconds and I will find it. Or maybe not. Well, I'll just give it a quick measure on here. So this is about five inches, six inches. Let me see. So that's an inch, that's one inch. Yeah, about five inches across, I think. I'll measure it better on this one. Ooh. No, there's six inches, sorry. Six inches by four inches, six by four this envelope is and it's absolutely gorgeous, I love it um, you'll see it's really tactile, it's got the Graphic 45 stamping on it, it's got lace on it, beads it's beautiful, book paper that I've aged, so you get that one then you get this one, this one again is all Mod Podge, it's really tactile it's a great big envelope now this is made from pink um, graph paper that was stained by food colouring, it was Amanda Hardy that sent me this you can see it's got this beautiful wee trim on it, vintage buttons another big graphic 45 stamp, doilies on the back it's got the boot paper this little technique that I've started doing um, as if it looks like a coffee cup or something has been sat on top of it so I love this envelope, this again is larger so it's 4 well, this one's six, this one's seven, so it's four by seven, so you get that one also. Now, the reason I put these in the junk journal kits is because, obviously, if you don't want to use them like that, you can use them just as an envelope to put whatever you like in it, um, or to send out friend mail. But also, you can fold these in half, I'm not going to fold this one over, and have them as a page in your junk journal, and you can still make the top bit open so that you could have a pocket for goodies. So you've got that one, and then... You have this really large one. Um, this one I have used the Nouveau Mousse. I've stenciled through. I've used the Nouveau Mousse to colour. It gives it a really nice shine. But this lovely imagery. Again, you've got the, the dictionary paper. Some of this gorgeous hessian with the lace on top. Vintage buttons. I've got more transfers on here. This is a napkin that has been mod podged onto the back. You'll see I've used the sprays and the stains and the inks, the oxides, uh, more nouveau mousse, this is all mod podge, you've got transfers here, it's an absolutely stunning envelope, um, it's really large, this is an A5 envelope and it would make a perfect page for a junk journal, so that is included, and then you get this little white doily, which is lovely, then you get one of these green um, Santoro doilies, you then get this little tag book, page this is nice for you could sew this in or stick it into your journal and have it as a little flap up then I've included some bits um, that if you wanted to decorate yourself so I've put in two of these journaling cards these are just the index cards and you can do so these are what these two started off life as so there you go that started off life as that and then I just totally altered them so you can see what you can do yourself. So I've added in two of these. Then I've put in one of these little paycheck envelopes. Again, this is what this started life as. So you can see what you can do. So I've put that in. Then I've put in one of these. I think these are absolutely cool. You can alter these in so many ways. What it is, is it's a, it looks like a little photograph holder. It's got the little check out in the back so you can make it into a pocket or you can make it into an envelope but it's also open with an aperture at the front so you could do whatever you like here you could decoupage the back you could decoupage the front you could add all sorts of mediums on it um, I just think it's a really cool idea so you could put that into your junk journal then I've included in one, two, three, four um, book pages that I have sprayed and used the oxides on Again, you could take these even further and do whatever you want. There's one of these little rings that I've done. So there's four of those. Then I've added in a piece of manuscript paper that I have used the oxides on to age up. So again, you could use this to make your own envelope. 
um, or your own tags, anything you like. You could use this for absolutely anything. You could actually just use it as a page in your journal, cut it to size for your journal. You see I've left it clean on this side. The reason being is you could use this in your journal for writing on and if you wanted to decorate it yourself, you just turn it the other way and then you can do your own decoration on it. So I've added in that piece and then finally you get one of these large paper doilies. Again, you could fold this over and just have it. That's what I do with them when I put them in my junk journal. So you can see it's a huge kit. You've got a lot for your £10. Um, and I've also tried to leave in some creativity so that you can do your own pieces as well. I'll just pop all this down here. So I like it. I think it's cool. And this is how I start my junk journals. I collect bits and pieces. Um, and then I start making my own bits and decorate my own bits. And then just start putting it all together. So, And then you've got all your fibres as well. So like I said, this is £10 for this kit. Um, which I think is really good value for money. I tried to sort of price match it against people on Etsy and other people on eBay and see what they were doing and things, and I think it's really competitively priced. Um, I've priced it quite low so that you guys can start making your own journal. So obviously this isn't the pages for your journal, this is just to, all like bits of ephemera and things like that that you can make for your journal. So yeah, £10, PayPal only, UK only. Sorry guys, but it would just be... You know, it would be too expensive to send it stateside. Um, unless you're willing to pay, if you are stateside and you are willing to pay the postage, that's fair enough. But UK, the postage is included in your £10. Okay, so if you would like it, I'm going to leave my email down in the comment, in the description box. Leave me a little comment to let me know that you're going to email me. And um, yeah, let me know what you think guys, because if this is a success, I'm going to be making up different junk journaling kits for sale um, with different fibres, different papers, different envelopes, different doilies, all different bits and pieces to try and get them out there and get you guys crafting. So thank you everybody. Please give this video a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you haven't done so and I'll catch you all again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.